there's a frustrating feature or bug of Google Calendar when you're sharing it with other people that they should be aware of. Okay, and maybe you're watching this because someone shared a Google Calendar with you. Here's the bug or maybe the feature, I'm not sure. When you go to an event that the creator of that event has made a recurring series of events, but they changed one of the event within the series, that change will not convert over to your calendar if you copy the whole series. Let me explain. So you can see here, I have an event on March 6th, okay? And this is a, a calendar that was shared with me. I click on the event uh, from that person's shared calendar. I click on the three dots and I click to copy it over to one of my calendars called a sample calendar. Okay, I'm gonna click on copy the sample calendar. Notice what happens. Now it's January 6, 2025. Why is it like, like that? Because the creator of the event, in this case, it was actually me, my other account. I created this event series starting on January 6, 2025. We're monthly, you can see monthly on the first Monday, da, da, da. However, for this particular event in March, I wanted it to happen on a Thursday. Let me show you again. Let me discard this. The actual event happens on a Thursday but the event series was originally created as a Monday recurring thing. I just changed it as the creator of the calendar. I changed that March event to a Thursday. I said, change just this event in the series, but it's still attached to the series. So whoever I share the calendar with you, maybe you, will be confused if you simply use the copy method. Now, interestingly, if you use the email method, if you email it to yourself, those details are actually correct. I've tested it. But instead of copy or duplicate the calendar, duplicate is the same thing. It just copies it to your, to your main calendar on Google. You'll get confused and you probably will get the wrong results. Let me, let me go ahead and show you. Okay, let me just go click uh, duplicate in this case to copy it to my main calendar, okay? It's like, oh, well, that's weird, January 6th. Okay, maybe it's a monthly thing that George created. I'm gonna click save. So now, I'm gonna show you the week here. It has created the, duplicated the whole series as, as you can see here, this is the first Monday, the first Monday, like I originally created the thing. But I wanted, as George Cowell, sorry to be so confusing, as George Cow, the series creator, I wanted this particular March event to be on a Thursday, and it doesn't do it correctly. I had to, I had to go ahead and turn the, the shared calendar on to see what the correct one was rather than the one I copied over. So again, I'm gonna just delete, I'm gonna delete the entire series, all events, from the one I copied over. I'm gonna delete the copied series. Okay, so it doesn't confuse me. And what I recommend going forward is the following. I'm going to turn that, uh, turn that 2025 calendar. What I recommend going forward is if you want to uh, check a, a, a shared calendar and you say, well, gosh, I want to attend this event. I want to remind myself to attend. Here's what I recommend doing. Click on the event, copy the event um, title, or you just select it and do command C to copy it and then create it on your own calendar. Okay. Just like this. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, notice I, whoops, let me go ahead and X that out. Notice what I did was I simply clicked and dragged in the, in the blank area. I clicked and dragged the same amount of time and then I paste it command V I paste it the same. And what I do is this, I see this C 2025 ABC calendar. Okay. I do it this way. This way, um, whatever details that the event creator gave me is always updated if I use this calendar, the one that was shared with me. My own calendar doesn't update based on, because the event creator doesn't have access to my calendar, has access to the shared calendar they shared with me. Does that make sense? So basically, I usually turn the shared calendars off because I don't want to get cluttered with events that I'm not attending. There are many events on the shared calendar that I'm not attending. I only want to attend certain events. So what I do is I make a reminder for myself when I'm planning my week, right? I have a checklist for myself when I'm planning my week to turn on the calendars I'm interested in checking out. So let's say I'm, I'm planning the week right now. Let me, let me do this one more time. I'm planning the week right now. Uh, let's say it's you know March 2nd, Sunday, March 2nd, and I'm planning the following week. I will turn on the shared calendars that interest me, okay? 
and I'll say, hey, that one's in, that one I want to attend. So like I said, like I, I copy the event title, I create it on my own calendar, I paste it in here, I click save, oh, C, A, B, C, Cal, you know, whatever shorthand you know, and then, and then I can turn off the, um, I can turn off the shared calendar because there may be many other events on the shared calendar that is cluttering mine. So I'll turn that off. And then when it comes the day to attend the event, I'll click on this and I'll say, oh, see ABC calendar. Oh, okay, got it. So then that reminds me to turn this on to look at the details. There might be a Zoom link I can click on or other details that are always updated because the creator of the calendar, if they update it, I will see the updates immediately when I turn on the shared calendar. It won't update my own calendar because the creator doesn't have access to mine. Anyway, I hope this is clear. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, comment below. If you have any other tips for others who are using shared calendars from others, comment below as well. Thank you so much.